This is your uh, preparation mood. So this is your resisted glute bridge, just lying down using the band to press up against it and uh, also just to activate the core as well as you press down. So transitioning now into your squat, resisted squat, standing on the band. Obviously you need a good band for this. It needs to be nice and strong. If you're very tall, you need you know quite a long one, but uh, a very simple move, but an important one, your uh, squat. Just transitioning now uh, into the horizontal push. And this is the chest press. A variation on this could be done on the ground, so lying down and pressing up, which we've done with the kettlebells. Uh, you could also um, have the band exactly in that position and do a push up, which is tough. So transitioning now, again, to a lower body move. Now we're combining a lunge with an overhead press. Uh, you can do that press at the bottom of the move um, or at the top of the move which is a little bit easier if you don't need any resistance or any extra challenge you can just use body weight also if the lunge is not something you're quite ready for you could use something to hold on to to make sure that your form is good all the way through the movement and obviously doing both legs and now just doing a chest open so this one is just breathing out as you pull the band open and just feeling those shoulder blades come together. Uh, super important move from a, a postural point of view. Very simple, but uh, very useful. So another move that you could do, which is in the same vein as the chest open now, is the bent over row. Uh, this one you need to keep a nice straight back, keep those elbows in tight to the body as you pull up. So transitioning now just into a uh, single single leg leg press. So you'll see in this movement that sometimes I lift my head. So that's trying to show you that you can uh, do like a half stomach crunch, uh, switch on the stomach muscles as you press up. So you're kind of getting a, a two for one with this movement. Obviously the legs are very strong so you can make that band you know, nice and short for that movement. and pushing up at, a, at an angle, so mimicking the leg press machine. That's one where you've got to be pretty strong. So you can address the tension by just being you know, a bit slower with the movement. That time against resistance is a variable that can make it a little bit harder. Okay, now it's important that you anchor this down onto something really strong and really safe. It's not going to break, not going to move, um, and a standing rotation. So this is obviously the, um, the transverse plane, helping you with that sideways movement, which is super important for any kind of rotational sport that you might play. You know, think your golf, think your tennis, squash, hockey, that kind of thing. Or just simply just getting the, the, the strength down to be able to you know, pick up a box and, and uh, you know, move it across the body. So now this movement uh, is uh, mimicking the deadlift uh, or Romanian deadlift or stiff-legged deadlift. It's got, got a few different names. Uh, I know it looks a little funny, but uh, make sure you anchor it down behind you. Again, something strong and just straightening up against that resistance behind you and feeling your glutes squeeze in particular at the top of the movement. So now uh, we're trying to mimic the lap pull down or you know, even a pull up, uh, which is one of the hardest moves. If you could find somewhere to do a pull up and you could do a pull up, that would be obviously a better move. But uh, if you're in a hotel room um, and you can find something to anchor this down on the floor, uh, you can do the lying lap pull down. Again, make sure it's very solid, whatever you anchor to. So just moving on to our last few movements, this is the single arm overhead press. 
and breathing out as you do the hard part of the movement as with all the exercises and trying to keep the rest of the body stable as you do the move. If you've got some issues with the shoulder joint, I would just keep the, the wrist in a neutral position. If you feel like you want a little bit more challenge, you could turn that uh, hand over as you go up, which is a bit more challenging. And now just going into a, a couple of single joint movements at the end of the workout. Guys are always pretty keen on doing the bicep curl and we're not going to forget the ladies because often uh, it is asked, how do I strengthen the back of my arms? Um, and obviously, you know, guys don't mind that one as well, but it's a, generally a, a request from the females. Tricep extension. So keeping that elbow really still and just straightening up that arm against the resistance of holding the band. You could also stand on it, but that's a, a good simple way to do it. And breathing out as you extend that arm up. And obviously with all these exercises, if you're doing a single joint, a single uh, sided movement, you do both sides to keep balanced. And so you uh, walk out of the, the warm up uh, feeling completely balanced. And you could go through this circuit a couple of times, two or three times, or once depending on your time and uh, well done, that's a workout.